Hi, I'm Mrs. St. Ange and I'm in room 113. And I'm Mrs. Offman and I'm in room 111. Uh, we're just going to introduce you a little bit about emotional dysregulation and strategies that teachers and students can do to help other students in our building. Um, so if you don't know, emotional dysregulation is when you just feel emotions that are a lot higher or a lot longer than what you normally would. Um, anybody can feel like this. Um, and then you know, a lot of signs that you're going to see are maybe yelling, crying. Um, that's when some people might have self-interest behaviors such as like hitting themselves or biting. Um, um, sometimes they might get physical with other people. Um, however, we have building staff that are um, specifically trained to help students that are coping with emotional dysregulation. Um, so these staff members will be able to um, make sure that all students and staff are safe within the building. Yep. So if you do notice any other students starting to show any type of dysregulation, um, the best thing to do is be really quiet and listen to your teacher. Um, a common thing might be that you're class is relocated to a different space just for privacy um, of another student. So during that time, a lot of times your class will go to the flag hallway, but just make sure that you get up quickly and quietly um, and leave the room. Um, otherwise, your teacher might get an email or hear an announcement that says like, please lock doors or teachers check your emails just to make sure that we are um, making sure that everybody's safe. So let's all be A-OK -okay when it comes to experiencing emotional dysregulation. Be accountable. Notify an adult if you notice someone becoming dysregulated. Give that person space and listen to your teacher if they give you directions. Be open-minded. Understand that everyone copes with their emotions differently, and some individuals need more time or support to do so. And be kind. Be kind to individuals that may be experiencing emotional dysregulation. If you see someone getting support in the hallway or in a classroom, respect their privacy. If your classroom needs to be cleared, do so swiftly and quietly.